G'day YouTubers, Devil's Prodigy here, bringing you another Mighty Empires campaign battle. Today we have Skaven vs Orcs and Goblins. Now this is a 2000 point battle. Um, we did have some gold to spend on extra points, so I think I, my list in the end was 2250 and Snaps was, uh, I think it was 2090. But anyway, the mission we got was a Blood and Glory and now we're going to deployment. Okay, Orcs and Goblins first. Firstly, I've got a Mangler Squig. Then I've got 30 Black Orcs with Musician and Santa Barra. There's a Doom Diver at the back there. Then I've got a Night Goblin Big Boss BSB with 40 Night Goblins with Nets, Santa Barra and Musician and one Fanatic. Then there's a Savage Orc Great Shaman with a Lucky Shrunken Head and uh, 30 Savage Orc Biggins with Musician and Santa Barra. 20 Night Goblin Archers in the background with one Fanatic. Another unit with that has a, a Night Goblin Level 2 Shaman and a Night Goblin Big Boss. 40 Night Goblins with Nets, 1 Fanatic and Musician and Standard Bower. Then a Doom Diver, Mangler Squig and 5 Savage Orc Boar Boys with full command. Okay, Snap Skaven Army. I don't have a list so I'm very sorry. I'll probably miss a few things. But he's got, uh, I think it's an Engineer there. His Doom Wheel. Uh, 20 Plague Monks. Then he's got his Walt Lightning Cannon. They're clan rats, and there's an engineer in there as well. Then he's got the rattling gun. Uh, Storm vermin with the screaming bell, and in there is his grey seer as well. Then I think he's got 40 slaves, uh, another engineer, and his HPA, the hell pit abomination. Unfortunately, I don't know every little bit and piece, but he did have full command for all his units. And uh, quickly for the spells, I had uh, my savage... Orc uh, Shaman, Great Shaman had the Gaze of Mork, Fist of Gork, Here We Go and Foot of Gork, and my Night Goblin Shaman had Vindictive Glaze and Curse of the Bad Moon, and Snaps, uh, 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 what's his name, Grace here, had uh, Plague, Plague, Warp Lightning and the Dreaded Thirteenth. Okay, Skaven has first turn. The giant rats move forward and draw out one fanatic and uh, one of the giant rats is killed. In magic, uh, Snap got uh, 12 uh, dice and he got off uh, plague on the savage orcs and it killed five savage orcs. He then uh, I dispelled warp lightning and then he got off the dreaded 13th, but I used my dispel scroll. In shooting, his warlock engineer misfired and took a wound and... Uh, the other Warlock Engineer fired and killed the Fanatic. Uh, the Warp Lightning Cannon shot at the Savage Orcs and killed uh, one Savage Orc and one Night Goblin. Okay, turn one Orcs and Goblins. As you can see, the Black Orcs did charge the Giant Rats, but before that, uh, the Savage Orcs failed Animosity and did nothing, and then the Night Goblins failed Animosity, and they ended up fighting with the Savage Orcs. Fantastic, so not a good start already. Um... In the magic phase, nothing happened. Uh, pretty much, I think it got one spell off and it, it did some wounds uh, to his, I think it was his Storm Vermin or something like that. Uh, the Doom Diver, what, the first Doom Diver failed, the second Doom Diver killed the Rattling Gun. And in close combat, the Black Hawks versus the Giant Rats, unbelievably, the, the Black Hawks failed to kill the, the all the rats. Um, only five of the giant rats died, and the giant rats fled, and they were they got away. I, I rolled so low, I think I was five inches away or something like that, and I rolled like four. I was just like, oh my god, could this go any worse? <laughs> so now my Black Hawks are out of place for turn uh, two. Okay, turn two of the Skaven. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Uh, the Gutter Runners end up coming onto the board close to that Doom uh, do Diver. Then we go to the the Slaves and they charge into the Black Orcs, as well as the, the Hell Pit Abomination that charges into the flank. Uh, the Doom Wheel actually moved into contact with his engineer that was on the, on the left and, and basically squashed him. He was dead from impact hit so that was pretty funny then we went uh, into the other phases and this is where I really um yeah I cried I, <laughs> it was really bad <laughs> um, basically the magic phase he got off the dreaded 13th it killed off 
21 of my Savage Orcs, and my Great Shaman. They all died. He rolled 22, so 22 models are gone. That's the end of them. In the shooting phase, he killed off uh, some Night Goblins and... and um, no, sorry, the, the shooting phase is Warp Lightning Cannon targeted the Night Goblins, but actually hit his giant rats because he misfired. Uh, the Doom Wheel filed at the, the Mangler and killed off the Mangler and one Ball Boy. In close combat, the Slaves versus the Black Orcs versus the Hell Pit Abomination. The Black Orcs caused no wounds against the Hell Pit Abomination and only killed three Slaves. Another terrible roll by me, and of course the Black Orcs lost that combat, they fled, and they were chased down by the Hell Pit Abomination. So, turn two, he's, he's killed off my Black Orcs, he killed off all my Savage Orcs, my Great Shaman, he's killed off one Mangler, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I just, I'm just blown away, I'm sort of just sitting there stunned. Um, pretty much in my turn two, nothing really happened. Um, I failed animosity again on, on one of my night goblins. Um, I think I moved my my savage orcs in the middle there. Uh, sorry, not my savage orcs, my boar boys. I moved them up a little bit so they couldn't get charged by the the doom wheel. And other than that, magic. I miscasted. I detonated and killed uh, two night goblins and one storm vermin. And then my Doom Diver on the, the right, uh, sorry, the Doom Diver misfired on the left and was destroyed. And then the second Doom Diver hit an en engineer and failed to win. So a very, very bad turn two for me. <laughs> okay, turn three of the Skaven. The, the H Hell Pit Abomination charges into the Night Goblins. And then we go into the, the rest of the phases. There wasn't too much more movement. Uh, the bell tolled and he's uh, destroyed the building that had his uh, 20 clan rats and, and one engineer in it. So he ended up killing 10 clan rats and the engineer. So that was pretty bad for him. Um, I dispelled his plague spell. And he didn't roll for the dreaded 13th. So that was pretty surprising. He, he showed a bit of mercy. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I would have rolled for it, that's for sure. Um, and then we went into the close combat and his HBA killed eight night goblins and the night goblins didn't get any wounds um, but I think it was, it was either tired combat but I, no I think I think I just passed my my leadership that was fine that was the end of that um, then we went into my uh, turn three uh, the mangler ran through and killed eight of his slaves and eight of his storm vermin the boar boys um, they failed animosity and remained in place. I couldn't believe it. The night goblins failed to charge the the screaming. I think it was, no, failed to charge the slave. Sorry. And then in magic, I got vindictive gaze on the storm vermin, but it was dispelled. And the curse of bad moon was was cast at irresistible force, and it killed uh, four slaves and five storm vermin. And the the miscast result killed uh, three night goblins. Uh, in shooting, nothing happened. It, it basically shot at the I think it was the the I think it was the screaming bell, um, but it it cause no wounds. In close combat, uh, the HBA killed 11 Night Goblins. The Night Goblin Big Boss got one wound on the HBA, um, but the Night Goblins f uh, lost the combat but stayed in place again because they passed their leadership. Turn 4, Skaven. So firstly we had the, the charges and that was the Slaves and the Storm Vermin with the Screaming Belt charging the Night Goblins. Then we had the clan rats charging the um, Savage Rook Ball Boys. And lastly, the gutter runners charging the Doom Diver. There was no magic cast, so we went straight into the, the close combat. And the, the HBA versus the Night Goblins, I think six Night Goblins were, were slaughtered and they lost combat and failed their break test. So the HBA charged them down and that was the end of them. In the close combat versus the, the st Storm Vermin, the, the, the Bell and the, the Slaves, the, the Night Goblins lost and uh, they needed a double one for their break test and they passed it, so that was pretty lucky. Then we went into the the Clan Rats versus the Boar Boys and the Boar Boys lost by one but they passed their break test. And lastly the Gutter Runners just destroyed the, the, the Doom Diver. Then we go into my turn four. Obviously, there was no movement. I was already locked in combat with my units. So, uh, the ball boys versus the 
the um, the clan rats. The the clan rats ended up winning that combat again, and uh, the ball boys failed their break test and fled, and they were they were caught by the the clan rats. Then uh, we went into the the other combat, the night goblins versus the the storm vermin and the slaves and the bell, and they lost by heaps. Um, I think it was it ended up being something like eight or nine. So they needed double ones again, and of course failed. So they were ch they fled and they were chased down by the storm vermin. So that was it. Game over at the end of uh, turn four. So very disappointing for the orcs and goblins. Um, Afterthoughts on the battle, Snap just played really well. Um, he had some really lucky dice rolls. I had some shocking dice rolls. I failed animosity so many times in this game, I couldn't believe it. And what what was the real game changer was turn turn two for, for Snap. Um, well, turn one and two. He turn one getting off that that spell is just um, is just crazy, you know. The dreaded thirteenth, he got it off, didn't miscast. Uh, so I used my spell scroll, and then he got it off the second turn, and he didn't miscast again. And you need 25 plus to get this spell off, so unbelievable dice rolls there. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was the end of my Savage Orc, bo uh, Savage Orcs, and the end of my, my Savage Orc Great Shaman. And then to have my, my Black Orcs perform so badly against the, the giant rats, to not kill them off, and then to not catch them, was just... It's very unfortunate because I knew if they got a flank charge from anything, they were they were toast because they don't do too well when that happens. And uh, yeah, you saw exactly what happened. They just they just got smashed and then they got run down, which was really bad. So uh, it was pretty much after that point I was sort of thinking in my head, this is going to be really hard to win this. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do to to win it. I just had to try and survive. So. But um yeah no great game uh, played very well by Snap he's he's coming along really well with his Skaven army it's a bit scary now I think he's probably going to be the guy that's going to be tough to beat I thought it was going to be ogres but now I'm a bit more worried to to face the Skaven again so um hope you enjoyed this battle report uh, look forward to uh, looking at your comments and, and things like that and uh, don't forget to to like and subscribe to the channel and. See you in the next battle. Alright guys, see ya, bye.